Hi. With this movie we will show you, how to delete database records, using DMX Zone Server Connect. We created a dynamic HTML table, using a database query. It displays records from our gallery table. We also placed a simple HTML button, inside the repeat region, that we are going to use, in order to delete the selected record. First, let's create a new action file. We call it, image delete. Expand globals. And add a new post variable. We will use this variable, in order to filter the records. So let's call it, delete ID. Now, right click steps. And add a database connection. Then, load your database connection, using the little folder button. Right click the database connection step. And add, database delete. Open the delete options. Select and add your database table. Then, add your ID column, to the filters list. Now, let's set up the filter value. Click the server data bindings icon, in order to select the proper value. And then, under globals, post, select the variable that we created, delete ID. Then, click the select button. And click OK. Save your action file. And let's create the server action executor, for the delete action. Click the add new button. Add a name for this executor. And set the auto run to, never. Select your delete server action, from the drop down. And set the method to post. Then, click options. And open the behaviors. Select the unsuccess event. And attach to it the, control DMX zone server connect behavior. Set the action to run, and then select the executor, that you are using to list your records on the page. Click OK. And click the OK button, to apply the behavior. Now, when we successfully delete a record, the query will be refreshed, so the changes will be visible immediately. Click the OK button. Now, we switch to design view, in order to attach the delete action, to our button. Select your button. And under behaviors, select add new. And then, in the DMX zone menu, select, control DMX zone server connect action executor. Set action to, run, and open the server action executor drop down. Here, select the delete action executor, that we've just created. And then click the data override button. Here, we will assign a value to the delete ID variable. Our delete action uses the ID column as a filter, so we should assign the selected record ID, as a variable value. Select the delete ID variable, in the input data list. Then, expand the action executor, that you are using, to list the records on your page. And under your query, select the ID binding. Then, assign it as a value, for the delete ID variable and click the OK button. Click OK, in order to apply the behavior, to the button. Now, let's preview the results. Clicking the Delete button, deletes the selected record, and refreshes your query, so you can see the changes immediately. That's how easy it is, to delete database records.